Man, what, man? Oh, man. man. This feel great. Don't feel the same. I feel excited. Feel excited. Man, the energy was good. You look behind us, we got the coaches with us, dressed all clean and stuff, man. It's going to be a great atmosphere tonight. Y'all tune in. The emotions of senior night are a constant. There is no way to prepare for it and no way around it. Last time in the vault, I got the family, I got the squad here. Now I got my brothers here right here, man. I know they're going to show out. This is real special, man. Hey, one last shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Hey, it's going to be a good one tonight. Let's go. Man, five years here, and you think about these moments, but just this atmosphere right now and knowing what tonight entails, it means the world to me. I love you, Rebel Nation. For the seniors, their last home game would be a tilt with rival LSU, the top-ranked team in college football. And the Bayou Bengals quickly set out to prove it. Well, here comes the number one team in the country, led by the Heisman Trophy front runner senior quarterback Joe Burrow. The handoff and straight up the gut for a big play across the 30 to the 33 goes Clyde Edwards Elair. Almost takes a snap, rolls right, throws downfield, and has his man at the 35 on a crossing route. Big tackle and dump there is Jamar Chase, but a big gain for LSU. That big, there's the snap. Burrow getting pressure up the middle. He's going to step away from it. Lobs it down the sidelines. Got a man wide open. Caught. Touchdown for LSU. Jamar Chase. Joe Burrow is a Heisman candidate. And on Saturday, he was showing why he's an odds-on favorite. Down coming up for LSU. And they'll have a ball on the right hash. Quick pass to the slot receiver on the near side. Caught and running toward the left corner of the end zone. Let's just keep playing for 60 minutes. Guys, got to keep playing for 60 minutes. Get some stops, get some scores, we'll be fine. Get some stops, get some scores. And Ole Miss will start at the 25-yard line, see if the Rebels can answer. We got him. He handed it off. Great job. He's a big playmaker, and he's making a big play. All the way down to the 25-yard line of LSU. 49-yard run. He's had three rushes of 50-plus this season. That's fifth most in the country. Quarterback key. Quarterback key right here. Dive skip, quarterback key right here. Go over the five. Very high snap. A keeper and Plumley off the right side is in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Let's go! Let's go! Come on. Yeah! The score was a much needed shot in the arm for the Rebels, who went to work on taming the Tigers. Couldn't find somewhere to throw it. Done such a great job of rolling around until someone broke open, but that time Tyreekus Tisdale said, You're going down back at the 40. Down and go from the four. He's in trouble and dropped for a loss. Willie Hibbler made the tackle. It'll be third down and goal. He's in trouble. He'll be sacked. Back outside the 15-yard line. Sam Williams, the first man there. And Josiah Coatney also involved. Going to court. Kick has the distance, and the kick is good. And LSU goes up 31-7 with five seconds left to go until halftime. I've always told you the truth. I've always told you the truth. The truth is, that ain't us. That ain't us. We're better than that. You understand that? We're better than that. Go finish drives and then get stops on defense. You have to get stops and you got to go score. We're better than that. And you know that. I love you enough to tell you the truth. But you're also good enough to go dominate this second half. Let's go see what happens. Hey, finish drives and get stops. Let's go win this second half. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Four. Play action and then throw it downfield to Cooley. Got it. He's got it 25 30 down the sidelines, 35 40, 45 midfield, and we'll push it all the way to the LSU 46. Yes, sir, get it to him again. Get it to him again. John Rice Plumley continues at quarterback. He takes off running. He's going to take off to the end zone. Two plays and a touchdown for Ole Miss in just 31 seconds. A little swing route out to uh, Moore is complete for two points. So make it 31 to 15. To say the Rebels came out swinging would be an understatement. 
going to hand it off to Ely running right. He's got a lane 30, 35, lowers his head and is spun over and dropped at the 40-yard line. So a good start on this drive. The Rebels, there's the snap, fake the toss pitch, and now Plumley runs right off tackle, 45, 50. He's in the clear again. He's to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. You can't catch him. Touchdown, Ole Miss. He's going to the Plumley, though. They're going to go for two again. Designed run for Plumley. Lunging and gets there for the two. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Second down eight for LSU from the 22. Rebels bring with a blitz. Burrow's going to run to his right. LSU picks it up nicely. Now he flips it downfield, and it's going to be picked off by Ole Miss. Pedron Smith with the pick. Plumley's going to run, fake the reverse, keep it, and run straight downfield. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Count it. Plumley's fourth of the night. Turning the takeaway into a touchdown, the Rebels were back within two scores, and the Landshark D was more than happy to do it again. It's pressure, he steps out of pocket, he's hit as he throws it, it's up for grabs, picked off by Ole Miss again at the 16-yard line. DeAndre Prince just playing center field, waiting on that one to come down. Great pressure. In and Plumley can throw it too. They say he's an improving passer, and that one looked good to Elijah Moore with just enough for the first down to the 44. And a new set of downs here in LSU territory. Connor broke away from Lawrence, bounces outside as a first down. With the final quarter winding down, the red and blue drive that started with such promise had now turned into a do or die, fourth and forever. Play of the game so far, plumbly too high. And LSU holds and will take over on down. They bring pressure right in his face. He got it off. Jamar Chase breaks free. They have angles on him. He made a great cut to the outside and scored. And if the second half proved anything, it was that there is no quit in Coach Luke's group. Morrell on target. Elijah Moore weaves through the defense and a touchdown. But in the end, LSU's first half scoring frenzy turned out to be too much for Ole Miss to overcome. Look at me. Listen, we're in this thing together. Hey, I love you guys. We didn't play good enough to win tonight. We didn't play our best football, especially in the first half. We came out in the second half, we did some decent things, we got some momentum going, but you can't wait and play a half like that against a team like that. They're number one in the country for a reason, but we didn't play our best football, and you know that. And you know that. Again, again, y'all just keep battling and hang together. We got one more game, and it's a damn big one, and we're going to go get our trophy back. You understand that? Yeah, the quarterbacks are seeing things, but uh, again, the effort was good, the execution at times wasn't what we wanted it to be, but. Um, you know, we just got to keep working hard and get over the hump. It's tough, tough loss, you know, especially when uh, you feel like you could have done a lot better and put yourself in the in the game there at the end, you know. But um, looking at next week, um, uh, me and this team, we're going to do whatever it takes to win. The fifth-year seniors, um, they were they were red-shirting at the Sugar Bowl. And the things, all the things that they have gone through, and they've stuck it out, and they've persevered, and they have uh, they've continued to fight. They, you know, they could have left. They could have gone other places, but they chose to stay here and fight that, that out. I think uh, they deserve a lot.